In the near future, patients requiring bone marrow transplants may no longer require donors. In what is being touted as a major scientific breakthrough, a team of Australian scientists have succeeded in growing human blood stem cells inside of a lab. At present, patients suffering from leukemia and bone marrow failures require a donor or stem cells. Now, getting an exact match, however, is a Herculean task, especially at a time when there is a shortage of donors. This is particularly sensitive as any chance of a mismatch could potentially attack the patient's own tissues, leading to illness and sometimes death. With a recent discovery by scientists at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute in Melbourne, Australia has nullified any genetic defect allowing for a perfect transplant, and that too by using merely a sample of either skin or hair from the patient. The key to this process is what scientists are calling pluripotent stem cells. The pluripotent cells are a particular type of stem cells that normally only exist during early embryonic development. Now, what makes these cells unique is their ability to produce any cell or tissue that the body needs to repair itself. Now, to create these near mythical pluripotent cells, scientists draw healthy cells from samples of hair, skin, or blood taken from the patients. The cells are then altered triggering the transition into pluripotent stem cells. And these newly minted pluripotent cells are then further reprogrammed into the specific types of cells. The patient's treatment demands, but how exactly is this done? Now, the default cells are first placed in conditions that are carefully mimicked. The stage of a human body is in to generate them. This is often the nascent phase of an infant's life. So as the cells transition into their final pluripotent stage, they are carefully removed from their artificial environment and transplanted back into the patient's body, wherein they go through a second metamorphosis, transition into the specific type of cell needed by the patient. The research has also shown that these lab-grown stem cells can also be used to create a supply of white and red blood cells, and these could be kept in a cold storage and be used when the patient requires. Now, the Australian researchers have also shown that cross-species usage of stem cells is in the realm of possibility. Now this, of course, is the next step of their research program wherein they'll be looking to conduct clinical human trials in the next five years. Now this research is not without its critics though and has left the scientific community divided, while some scientists have lauded the research praising as to how it charts a path for a new and a more accessible form of bone marrow transplant procedures. Others have raised concerns regarding the efficacy of these cells and by extension this entirely new paradigm of stem cell therapy. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.